Chapter two. More bad crap. Things continue going. Second first breath. Things go from bad to worse. Oh. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for Ooh, this guy's creepy. There's a certain raw beauty that to voice it that modern painters often He's got like a hundred children people. locked up in his basement. <laughs> I to be an hundred children locked up like in his cupboard it drawer. Be a long yeah. time before All just I squeezed in there like sardines. Back. I often say that patience are Ooh. my canvas. But my job is more about restoration. Okay, this is a flashback, obviously. I look at this is the a shrink. Yeah, mind. this is, this is the shrink. Yeah, the, the timeline doesn't run very linear at all in this, which is... Surprise, surprise. Which is great. You play flashbacks, you play... Um, flash forwards. Flash forwards, you play dreams. Okay. It's been a difficult couple of days. You know, I got my arm I cut really off. Like to go yeah. They had to run of around course. while this and like, sick ass here. music was playing As in the background. You've done this little assessment, okay? You probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know very well. You put on the uniform. Works. You want to check That's if it. I'm nuts. Yep. Well. I wouldn't use that expression. Not often. in my professional capacity. But yes, but you're we fucking crazy. You're safe but crazy in the coconut. <laughs> this girl needs also, therapy. As a nurse yourself, you know the correct terminology is cray cray. And <laughs> won't fill Susan. Honestly, Susan, you have Honestly, Susan, I thought you'd out. know the youngsters you, 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 lingo you better. You used to be a nurse. You should know this. way that you are not nuts. But you're probably nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? This I was a nice little section because questions. you got to mold a little then bit of the backstory. Okay. And catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Which Let's see. I'm sure doesn't mean a lot, Where but it adds to figuring out the game world a bit better. Okay. But that's only for later. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Hey. She's awake, doctor. Is that you when you were younger? They're depressed. No, I'm in the bed. It's good oh. to see you awake at last. They revived me from my suicide attempt. You're in the Cedar oh, Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. Hi, I'm Andrew. Could you confirm your name for me, please? Lord Buttington. <laughs> Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. You, your condition is stable. In a hospital bed. So your brain functions just fine, and you're okay. No permanent damage oh, great. Assault. We've checked your internal organs. We'll put them back fight. later. <laughs> You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but it will then be followed by a crippling like agony. Plenty of rest. Now. Great. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need any. Cup of cup of cup of drink. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Cup of Joe. Please don't a try donut. To speak. Anything. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Mm -hmm. I'm whispering. Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm okay. is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Uh, it was all a dream. Or was it? Perhaps I should... I'm going to feel some sort of, I don't know, phantom pain. You're obsessed, sir. Shut up. <laughs> it's not obsession, it's love. Okay... Bit of a pause. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Oh, Two she's seconds the pokiest and I'm nurse on the planet. She is. My name is Liz, by Hi. the way. Please, Hi. can we snuff out I'm her sorry. candle? No, she's actually. Nice. She's Believe cool. Me, I hate she's pretty cool. All right. She's a bit naive and a bit that young, but she's. Oh, okay. She's. Um, job stupid job. Me. Helping people. She's stuck on this ward where. People Tell treat her like shit, okay. and all she wants is so anyway, to be in a position where someone will talk to her. Oh, you know okay. Anyway. You are so lucky. So she just like, talks to the comatose you, people. Doing yeah. what you've done, and her walking in, seeing what she saw, that was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any nope. sense again, am I? <sighs> I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell him what I really think. No, you I won't. swear I will. <laughs> ah, and here it is. You've got the blood pressure. Well, ah! 
<laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> Just wanted to say you're lucky. I Put it back. <laughs> I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care. You're supposed to look dogs, after yeah? me. Don't tell me to take care. You got to take care of me. Oh. I was a doctor too, you know. You weren't just a nurse. Oh. Not a real doctor. Uh. I'm sorry if I offended any nurses out there. <laughs> oh, whoa. oh shit. Oh. Oh no. The, then the old lady face comes out of there. Oh, oh. god. That's gonna sting. <sighs> oh. Um. Bad dream. Bad yes. Uh, yeah, pretty bad. You can ignore. actually just sit and ignore, but that yeah. has a bad really effect later. I can imagine. I could see as soon as you have to remember things that the girl says oh. quite hectically. Oh. Because, you know, she's in a position where you're the first person who's, told, who's listening yes, to her. Yes, you're being nice to her. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. There was this little anecdote. Uh. And she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not oh right dear. She was on 10 litres of oxygen. <laughs> Through the face, man. That's going to end badly. But she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they left... And boom. Off. Yeah. The whole room went up in flames. And Smoking so is bad, kids. Especially in rooms full of oxygen. <laughs> That's just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. What's, what's your name again, I'll be please? Be nice to her. She, she seems alright. What am. was your name again? I forgot to introduce She did, myself, but I forgot. Oh. Uh, but then she's so, so polite. Sorry, it's clever. Yes. My name is Elizabeth. You can call me Liz, like everyone else. You're here a lot. Every time I open my it's eyes, kind of my job. I see you. The Nick Auxiliary is the crazy hour ratio. Seriously, I feel like I've got no life sometimes. You don't. Mm. I'll be here till the morning. To be honest, I keep coming here to hide. Please don't give me away. I just want to rest my legs for two minutes. <laughs> Shame. What happened? Just like a real hospital. Well, how much do you remember? I. I it was a cat. Mm. Pills, and I fell And there was a crazy lady. I remember and a deer. A and I was crucified and in an ambulance <laughs> and so hung up in a tree. And then, and then someone killed my dear. But then, you see, you got a choice. Uh, you got a choice. All of a sudden, <laughs> I was on the field of barley. It was great at first. I felt well, it was colourful. I was free. It was alright. But it, <laughs> it always does. There was this tunnel, but there was no light at the end of it. Only darkness. And my dead body. Then I got lost in the woods. There was my oh. dead body hanged on the tree. I don't sound crazy at all. No. And a crow. And a deer. And some I ice cream. And a cupcake. The trees, but I, didn't I need to go, to says Nurse Lady. Um, <laughs> she just to slowly starts edging. Later. If you're looking really carefully, she's edging pixel by pixel to the right. <laughs> just hovering the out the door. <laughs> no. <laughs> queen of maggots. She said I should go back. Gave me another chance, and so. Of course, we haven't mentioned anything about the bad people. We no, no. dream, eh? Maybe it was uh. a dream. I really believe uh. in this sort of stuff. I don't sound mad. It felt real, but it was just a dream. Can you now tell me who found me? I guess we're gonna what? find out. Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found she? you. She. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Whoa. Daughter, of course. She called mm -hmm. an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you would sure be dead now, Susan. Because explicitly said that daughter. you live alone in this yes. two bedroom flat. Why? Why do you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Yep. I don't have a daughter. That. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? Why was she in my house? Because she's a bad person. I'm, I'm just going to assume that everybody's a bad person. It, but that's what you should assume every day. I'm paranoid. I'm fine. I didn't. I'm basing this in real life, yeah, where every person is a bad person. Sorry. This is why I live in a two-bedroom flat and don't leave much. Holy shit, that's true. Yep. 
How long have I been here? I heard. I yeah. Are you one of the people? No. You're gonna go blow out all the candles now. No. <laughs> Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit. They okay. gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as the condition is stable, they well, everything's you okay now. It's called hmm. Dime Ward. I call it Dime Ward. Oh, that's a little funny joke of mine. Ha, ha, ha. It's funny. Ha ha ha. Death. Oh. You're not upset, are you? Oh. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the Oh yeah. Oh yeah, give it to me. When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Perhaps never. Oh. Why do I get the feeling you're gonna have to I say that, but you break, escape? Yeah, I'll break out. I feel like I should warn you. Then, Ooh. then you get into a sneaking mission. They call him Doctor X. X. He's a chief of psychiatry. And he's an asshole. He won't be able to go home until he's talked to you, and he. He's really good uh, at getting into your head. I, I don't think, know how to take that. I think you should get into his yes, head with a crowbar. <laughs> they took my crowbar away. But he's oh, a really the dream guy. crowbar. Mm. You should trust him. Professor X. <coughs> he's bald and about rolls around in a wheelchair. Oh, this is Xavier! Well, how else, Dr. X? Give out the names of giving It's just his cool code name. His real name is like Bob or something. But I'm Dr. X. <laughs> And I'm here to examine you. <laughs> wow! Dr. X is totally going to be on SummerSlam. <laughs> confirmed. You heard it here. <laughs> Dr. X confirmed for Brawl. Confirmed for the, uh, for the new Street Fighter. <laughs> He's the sixth secret character. <laughs> what a nice man. So she's like, oh, he's, he's, uh, you get it your head. Oh, he offered me free psychiatry, it's fine. And he's a big flirt. Oh. Nurses, cleaners, patients. He doesn't care. As long as they That's why I don't wear a skirt. They don't even have to be men. Mm. Oh, wait. Wait. I said that all wrong. Yes, you did. You fucked Whoa, that man. one up. <laughs> Whoa. And I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. Oh. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably, Probably killed her. Money. Mm -hmm. I don't know how these things work. But You're a nurse. You should her. definitely know how things like unplanned pregnancies work. I don't know how they work. Really I was told the stork it. brings the baby. Yeah, well, an unplanned one is when the stork... The stork just breaks the stork, into your house. Yeah, and messes up your pots and pans. <laughs> Steals all your valuables and leaves a baby under the bed. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, you, you've been stalked. Oh, uh, Dr. X smells funny. He smells like formaldehyde. Oh, thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close mm. to him. Now that I think about it, there's oh. something else too. I'll tell oh. this, Susan. He starts and then you just, talking to you. You splay he open. He seems he like a very everything. unpleasant person. It's very odd. I don't exactly Spoiler, you've him. seen him already. He is he dead? No. Who are you speaking is, to? Oh. He's a psychologist. Oh, but I was expecting, it's considering how flirty he, she said he is, I was expecting like Mr. Suave. No. Oh, it's just a, he's got that kind of old, kind of maybe slightly creepy, yeah, but creepy Sean Connery kind of. No. No. Mm. I said creepy Sean Connery, not a normal Sean Connery. Mm. Did you see this <laughs> daughter no. of mine? No. No, sorry, Susan. Apparently, she came in the ambulance with you, but then. She <laughs> oh, how convenient! I had to I cut so. my hair. I, 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 I remembered a thing. I, I have to go. I sorry, I, I must go. <laughs> my planet needs me. <laughs> your the daughter was actually Commander Shepard. Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl is a hero. I'm Commander Shepard. Maybe oh, this is... always leave with I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite oh. hospital on the Citadel. <laughs> Attempting to steal from me. Hmm. Oh, you see, you got to be paranoid. You can't trust anyone. Trust no one. Got precious. Ah, Never back down. Ooh. Maybe you're hiding things. Mm. Tell me something more about yourself. Me. I'm an overdue. I'm just a hard working, a working girl. 
we all have to pay mm. out somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two at the Do you want to come over? We can have tea parties. One is an auxiliary nurse. So I guess it's like a cool girl house. The oh. Is a stripper. <laughs> you think so? She's never home at night. Maybe she was. Yeah, you're a stripper too. Like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings. Well, She's know. not a stripper. <laughs> you're right. You're a real nurse. She's a private Sometimes escort. She's a person. She's a personal nurse. <laughs> She's a nurse of the night. Dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Well, I did it just once, really. Oh. Oh. What a dick. Oh, convenient. Get a crowbar. He never told me why. He's going down. Yeah, he's probably one of them. Just yeah. murder him anyway. Yep. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. This game will reveal its true form. It'll turn Ooh. into a side-scrolling shooting game. <laughs> Character action game. <laughs> How do I know you're not one of them? Cat action game. You don't. Oh. Oh, no, you seem pretty chill. I, I don't they said know. that would happen, Maybe though. Not. Yep. I'll see you tonight. Oh. Except when they're not. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch don't your pinch arm. Don't pinch my arm. And oh. right? This is ominous. Oh, back to the sky. Okay. We'll start with a little chat about your child. <sighs> I this want guy's you to voice is like, oh, making me feel really it's uncomfortable. This was the nice bit I was talking about, where you get to kind of mold a slight backstory okay. to a degree. And tell me when you're sort of like that um, Kentucky Route Zero, exactly. where the narrative is all up to you, but it follows the same storyline. Exactly. Okay. You should check that out, Kentucky Route Zero. It's it's very interesting and very beautiful adventure game. How you're feeling now and creating a work. Okay. In order to achieve that, I need to get. Are we just gonna open up to him now? Childhood time. Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? So now you've got a choice of mm. yeah, no, and I was didn't have a dad. Oh dear. So I'm playing a kind of yeah. uh, a good one. I had a great dad. Hey, it's a little you I have very waving dad's friends. hand around. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite doll. My new pep pep. <laughs> never really gave him any reasons to be. It's, I was a good child. I thought Not you could perfect. even make the game slightly more depress then depressing if you actually made the childhood Whatever memories me happy. Oh himself. god. That's how I thought this would work. You're an asshole. He died six years ago. He's okay. dead now. Okay. Do you miss him? Of course I yeah. miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask. You're a creepy special. motherfucker. Mm. Stop talking like that. Put Let's on your normal voice. Your mother now. No, it's creeper time. Would, like? Would you care to tell me? I had a wonderful her? mum. Oh, jeez, we're heading into like major depression territory. Mm -hmm. My mum was great. Look how great my mum was. Uh, your mum's pretty cool. She brought me up well. Me and her, we were like best friends, like soulmates. We did everything. Because you were together. growing out of her right arm. <laughs> She passed away seven years ago. When Dad first got diagnosed oh. with cancer, the, the diagnosis just, of cancer killed her. Oh, just just layering on the, the depression onto the sadness cake. She died <laughs> it's just coated. It's being layered on with a trowel. Another eight months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him, though. Just he thought he was unbeatable. Top it off with a little oh. suicide cherry. Oh. I'm beginning to get a better picture. Your shit's Let's fucked up. Let's <laughs> take two minutes. Yeah, look at this picture of kittens. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm up. Hey. I need to get out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget I'll all just wander about out the front door. Suppose. Have you got soap? No, that's a... Uh... Oh, saving time. Time to save. Oh, there's some previous saves. Ah. Uh. I got stuck in the hospital a little oh bit, dear. hence hospital girl. 